and uh, what if like someone is uh, starting to fail or like so how do you think a uh, such a bright student could get get out of there and score better to uh, its its potential if you have a wrong concept then immediate minus 1 and i would say a loss of 500 ranks yes agreed minus 1 loss of 500 ranks can lose your college your yeah. dream college So hello everyone. Today we have with us uh, Soham Mondal. He was a friend of mine at DAV Model School Durgapur and at St. Xavier School Durgapur as well. Uh, he is currently studying in IIT Bombay. And can you uh, talk about your credentials in your eleven and twelve yeah. entrance exams? Yeah, actually, at the first of eleven, I qualified the NTSC Stage Two and got scholarship. And in, I'm getting scholarship of that. and then i qualified kvpo sa with a good rank and uh, also kvpo sx with a good rank then uh, then i gave the je mains and got and in the second attempt i got my percentile 99.74 that's amazing uh, I, okay and then i i gave the je advanced which in which i got rank 1573 and a category rank of 21 and also I gave the ISA exam in which I got sixty-four all all India rank with the category rank of three in all India. So, as you have heard of the credentials, he seems to be a really bright guy. बुद्धि बहुत तेज है तुम्हारी. And has a bright future ahead. So, uh, how how did your journey start? Like after ten, uh, a lot of students are like. which stream should i take or how should i start studying and you know there's a you will see there's uh, what happened to me actually uh, in class 11 you will be seeing that a lot of students would be really carefree and they will think that they have uh, qualified for class 10 and of course in icsc or cbsc it's quite easy to get about 95 96% marks so everyone thinks that yeah they are going to get into iit that's a stamp mark for that itna galat kaise ho sakta hai bhai so how could you like uh, not exaggerate on that and uh, cope up with a different uh, thinking after all and and focus on the next two years for uh, hardships yeah in in that case i would say the, the taking coaching from class 9 helped me a lot because uh-huh. in boards uh, almost the uh, every subject gives the same number so we can't really decide and so we can't explore our interest but in fit g actually they keep a level higher and so we can judge ourselves means in which we can get our interest i am the one the way your son don't need a gun to get and so i means in class 10th i decided that i will take computer in 11th because in bio- biology i didn't find so much interest and i didn't means like mug up reading gajab bejati hai and mostly i wanted problem solving and that is me- that is the main cause i take uh, to to computer in class 11th okay sounds and nice then, sounds nice and the computer must be helping after all because yeah, yeah. you are putting uh, you are in csc department that's that's great yeah yeah and another yeah. thing like after all the entire credentials list that you have it's quite huge like it's someone wouldn't have even imag- imagined or even on a lucky day someone could get off with such a good examination or what tips can you give us to our juniors or someone who's going to be appearing in the uh, next few years in entrance examinations uh, so that they can better their examinations and how what is the uh, way of thinking they should have in the examination hall and other tips that you might want to give yeah actually i would want to say that uh, focus from the first uh, focus from the first means from the day one of class 11th focus on the studies of competitive exams you have to make in mind that the studying for school and competitive exams is completely different exactly, exactly. the school creates a base for the studies while the competitive exams test how much you can apply apply that in the real life yeah. in okay. for example uh, you are taught taught the base basic concepts in the school but in competitive exams you have to in an analyze each of the concepts and apply it accordingly a wrong use of the concept would lead to means 
a lot would lead to a lot of means the damage in the competitive exams jalwa hai hamara so first is precautions and second is patience yep. this two are exactly. the most important things uh, two mantras that you already should say yeah yeah precaution uh, and patience and uh, what if like someone is uh, starting to fail or like uh, he's starting to uh, he's in an examination hall he's the he's a bright student but due to improper management of time improper questions that he attempted or uh, in a different uh, sequence that he attempted he he's in the midst of an examination which is going to get going to get uh, wrong which is going to damage his uh, score at the end so how do you think a uh, uh, such a bright student could get get out of there and score better to uh, its uh, its potential uh, since you said bright student i will say means he's more than capable of doing that because means he is a bright student and he can do anything literally so i would say not only a bright student but an average student can do, do that means uh, the main mantra is practice means uh, if you give a means uh, for example i gave mini my ipad exams of 3 hours and i sat in my room for 3 hours continuous without taking even bathroom breaks means uh, in exam you are you course, might you not, not be allowed to take yes. breaks and that affects a lot i would say that affects a lot means in home i tried it and if i took bathroom breaks means i would say it helped me to focus more yeah. but in exam you have to consider that you will be not given bathroom breaks yeah so practice in the perfect environment is what i would say is the best thing means practice a lot means not that you practice only practice and only practice but practice with means studying but studying what are your mistakes in for example chor chor se bol ke logo ko scheme bata de yeah yeah and improving them for example uh, take four test in a in a week okay uh, took a take on monday analyze the mistakes take on a wednesday and analyze the mistakes take on friday analyze the mistakes okay yeah, and yeah. take on sunday okay hmm. the like like that uh, keep a day for an analyzing your mistakes and reading the concept okay and then attempt the attempt another test yeah you will see that uh, that concept will be okay but another concept will go wrong then you have to focus on that concept, that concept. and so yeah. if you give continuous assessments then you will be uh, able to find the weakness in each of your concepts and each of the part that you lack yes that's a really good mantra i should say like you go on improving yourself so that on the next day you are a better version of yourself yeah as yes yeah. i agree yeah. another thing that a uh, quite a lot of people struggle with or students specifically is they do uh, not everyone is like quite intelligent or quite uh, sharp enough so that all of the three subjects or even the minute topics of each subject are quite balanced so like if it was you 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 also m- must have had uh, certain topics which you had a really good grip on and certain on which you had a lesser like weaker grip yeah. so so how yeah. do you think someone should handle these different topics suppose uh, in one topic he is facing a lot of difficulty in other one it's he has a good grip so how do you think he should manage uh, the difficult as well as the uh, easy topics for him uh, both as he goes on over the span of two years and also as exams are approaching uh, within a month so both on the on the myopic side and also on the longer side how do you think a student should uh, yeah, yeah. approach them बंद करो हाथ जोड़ के मैं आई वुड से दैट फर्स्ट व्हेन यू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम्स फॉर एग्जांपल समथिंग इज टॉट टॉट टू यू ओके देन यू ट्राई टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम्स एंड यू विल बी एबल टू एनालाइज व्हिच आर व्हिच कांसेप्ट्स आर व्हिच कांसेप्ट्स यू हैव अ गुड ग्रिप ऑन एंड व्हिच कांसेप्ट यू डोंट हैव गुड ओके सो ओके देन यू देयर इज अ टेंडेंसी ऑफ ह्यूमन बीइंग दैट यू विल डू व्हाट यू लाइक you will do what you like yeah, means yeah. if i have a good grip on then you will continuously do that thing yeah yeah means you will continuously focus on that but it's mm-hmm. a very wrong mistake because in competitive exams each and every concept is important means in competitive for example i'm in j advanced uh, a question consists of 3 to 4 concepts believe yeah. me yeah yeah it is you three to four concepts a single option a single option plus plus four con- consist of four concepts means each concept is plus one yeah so if you have a wrong wrong concept or don't have the concept at all then gone if a wrong concept 
wrong concept is very wrong means if you have a wrong concept then immediate minus 1 and i would say a loss of 500 ranks yes agreed minus 1 is important. loss of 500 ranks can lose your college your yeah. dream college so yeah, imagine it, can. it really can so i would say uh, if you have a good grip on something leave it aside for some some time and then can uh, focus on the weak concepts because the weak concepts are are going to fetch you marks i believe me yeah. weak concepts are going to fetch you marks so how do you think uh, pe- uh, students should treat them before the exams so like a week before the exam when they are revising throughout their entire topics or their entire chapters where do you think students should uh, focus more the strong points or the weak points what do you think see uh, focusing both are important but first you need to focus on a weak points weak points are what are going to lose you marks strong points are you know that i can do it but weak points you are not so sure yeah it might occur it might not be it might be it might not be and in the con- in the confusion you will, you will mark the wrong con- wrong option and it's all gone Min- instead of plus 4 you got minus 5 and kya bola tune you can imagine yeah yeah I, one I, more. of course i have been in such a situation yeah another thing is like a lot of people say like they, these are the general questions is how many hours do you study like i do i really can't understand how come this is a logical question for me if i had to be a place in which i had to ask something to you it had to be like what was your like how did you focus yourself in the la- next like uh, two years in 11 and 12 or in even better form of that r question i i should say how did you manage your time in an entire day of 24 hours how do you think you should manage it see i would say the uh, number of hours of studying is completely immaterial yeah completely immaterial in material if you sit for 4 hours and only stare at the book and you do a thing without understanding it it is means it is the uh, no use Ill-way. only your time is wasted yes, is but if you concentrate of, on a topic if you don't understand then ask from your some of your friends some of your teachers some of your mentors they will surely help you and he is within i will say one hour you will get the concept clear crystal clear yep. so the concept of how many of studying is completely wrong how I many how many hours of concentrating and studying yeah that's exactly so what you need to concentrate if you are not able to study for i guess uh, i guess uh, two hours don't do that a uh, psychology said this 45 minutes is the maximum a student can focus okay then focus for 45 minutes take a break to refresh your mind then study it's not that you will forget that thing in the break you took yeah yeah but exactly. focus that's what that's what don't waste your time say. you don't study to yeah. show them that you're studying you study for yourself that you know that you're yourself studying. you feel good after after you yeah. take a break confidence yes. there there comes a confidence exactly and uh, for our upcoming generation for the upcoming juniors who are going to be appearing for the examinations how do you think uh, any tip you want to give them see uh, this the so first tip is not the number of hours you study but number of okay. concentrated study okay. you do mm. and secondly practice 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 there That's is okay. no okay. other way than practice yes do smart work but not hard work i would say smart work yep. see and one one tip i would uh, give to everyone that there are a lot of books lot of books a lot of good books books that are good for competitive uh, competitions but you have to choose only one book because if you means search many books then you will get confused yeah i would say choose one book that has means been recommended by the previous student for mentors and completely do that book I, i would means Uh, i am sure that one book is enough more than enough for the means if you complete one book completely then is more than enough like uh, if you want to be uh, very good in physics mm. then completely do the road of yeah for j advanced level is more than enough and yeah, it is in scp level and all means it is more than enough really good book yeah take your time but do one book completely because in a book there are lots of concepts lots of concepts beyond je and everything so do one book completely then try other books
you should always try other books but do one book yes one main book and all reference books you have to focus on one after that if you have finished you are hungry for your problems you are hungry for solutions you can take up another one that's really good yeah. advice so i think that will be all for today thank you for com- coming up thank you for making your time and thank another you. another huge motivation to our new juniors thank you thanks a lot yeah yeah thank you thanks a lot <laughs> ಆ ಬಂದು ಗುರಿದಾಳ